So let's rename this leg dot. Now, the only reason why I'm uh, renaming them is because it's easier to know which is which. Because if this, if I kept this name, which was body one dot one, I might mix it up with this, and this would be swing all over the place. It would be messed up. So, um. You don't have to rename it if you don't want to, but it's just less confusing for me. Um, it's not forearm, it was leg dot r. I know it's in proportional. Technically, this should be leg dot l because if you view it from his view, it's leg dot l. But from my view, it's leg dot r, so let's just do that. It's confusing. Um, pivot type hinge. Let's, okay, that's fine. Um, leg dot L. Okay, let's test it out so far. Oh wait, wait. No, we need to make sure that these are correct. I don't know. Here, let's test it out first, actually. All right. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Now what we might want to do is we might want to turn it to a ball again, these uh, hinges, because the falling doesn't look natural. So let's see. Hmm. Okay, that looks good. All right. So to make it solid mode. <coughs> Duplicate on the z-axis to size it down. This is going to be our neck. J on the z-axis. Um, you know what? I'm going to skip the head and neck part. I know this is it's pretty self-explanatory how to do this. Okay, so um, I just finished the mesh. So um, over here, as you can see. I didn't like the way it fell before, so I turned these um, these collision bounds to triangle mesh, and I popped into edit mode and dragged these vertices over. You should know how to do that. Okay, um, you don't have to do that if you don't know how to how to do that. So um, press P. Wonderful. Um, I'll put a link in the description box below of this mesh. If you don't know how to make the ragdoll, I can just put in the link. And um, and if you're using it for some other project, and if you um, and if you don't want to use this specific blend file, then um, you could actually here. Let me show you something very nifty. Um, go into link or app end. You can go into app end and um, let's link untitled dot blend and let's link the mesh. So let's link the cube. And you can see over here. Oh wait. Oh no, it's not here. Never mind. Let's do, undo that. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Here, append uh, object camera cube link dash app end. See over here. As you can see over here, it's a cube. This cube, um, you can use that in your actual, hold on. You can use that in your actual thing, like you can link dash append your project into this blend, or you can uh, link dash append this blend into your project. <coughs> okay, um, so that's how you make a blender ragdoll. I'm going to quickly save this. Save as. Blender Ragdoll. And I'm going to link this into the description as maybe like a mega upload file. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Alright. Um, thanks for uh, subscribing or not subscribing. You can like if you want to, comment if you want to. I don't really care. Okay. Um, if you have any troubles, you can email me or comment. Uh, I'll see you later.